will feature Mount Fuji disappearing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming from a faraway place at a busy time in your lives. I'm a traditional Japanese Rakugo comic storyteller, and my name is Katsura Sunshine. <laughs> Rakugo is a traditional form of comic storytelling that started in Japan in the Edo period. I move my head to the left, I'm playing one character, and I move my head to the right, I'm playing another character. Ukiyo-e woodblock prints stem from the same period in Japan, and to the people of Edo, Tokyo, each print had its own story to tell. So what better way to tell the stories of Ukiyo-e woodblock prints than to combine these two wonderful arts? Ladies and gentlemen, let us dive right into Katsura Sunshine's Ukiyo-e woodblock prints and the stories they tell. <laughs> Hello! Anybody home? Jinbei-san! Hello! What, what? 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 Why is Bobby over there across the street knocking on my neighbor's door? <laughs> calling my name? <laughs> Oi! Bobby! Come here! Come here! You're looking for me, right? Come here! Come here! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, Jinbei-san! I made a mistake! I went to someone else's house. All of the houses on this street, they look the same. Well, you're right. I, I guess the houses on this street do look the same. But if you look more carefully, you can see some differences. Oh, really? Yes. For instance, the sign on the front of the house has my name on it. <laughs> yeah, I should have seen that. Oh. And the address plate on the front of my house has my address on it. Oh. Yes, you're right. I should have noticed that, too. Mm. My house has my car in the driveway. Mm, I should have noticed that as well. My house has a doormat in front of it saying, Welcome to Jimbei's house. <laughs> My neighbor's house does not have a doormat in front of it saying, Welcome to Jimbei's house. <laughs> All right, Jimbei-san. I'm sorry, I forgot. I should have noticed. Uh, that's no problem, no problem. Everybody makes mistakes. In this episode, we feature sets of ukiyo-e prints that look exactly the same at first glance, but are actually different, known as kamadizu. For example, Utagawa Hiroshige's Kawasaki from the series 53 Stations of Tokaido depicts a boat crossing the river to Kawasaki. There is a Kawadizu for this print. And now let me show you another woodblock print. Kawasaki. Oh. They're the same print. No. I think if you look more closely, you can see some differences. Ah, I see. One has Mount Fuji, and the other one doesn't have Mount Fuji. I see. These are two different prints. No, they're the same print. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Well, why don't you look more carefully? Maybe you can see some other differences. Oh, let me see. Ah, yes, I see. The trees. Oh, in one of them, the trees are black, and in another one, they're green. And you can see a different amount of detail in the branches. Right, exactly. Anything else? Oh, oh, look at the buildings. Oh, the buildings are a different shape and, and they have different amounts of buildings in each print. Exactly. Oh, oh the people. Oh, there's a different number of people. Also, people are wearing different clothes. Exactly. One of them has birds and the other one, the birds have flown away. <laughs> exactly. I see. So these are two completely different prints. Nope, they're the exact same print. What? I don't understand. This is a print by the artist Hiroshige. It's of the place called Kawasaki. Do you know how woodblock prints are created? Hiroshige, the artist, would have painted a painting and then the carver would have carved the painting into wood blocks. One separate wood block for each color used in the print. Then the next craftsman, the printer, would put ink on each wood block and place it onto the paper in exactly the right position in order to create the final product. The problem was, once they printed many, many copies, these wood blocks got dull and eventually unusable. So they couldn't use them anymore. When they couldn't use them anymore, they had to recarve the wood blocks. At this point in time, the producer 
would have said, maybe we should change something. Take away Mount Fuji, put in some birds, change some <laughs> other details. The artist would have said, sure, I will do that, and recreated it, directed the carver to recarve the blocks, and then continued with the same printing. Same print, different versions. Ha! That's fascinating. So does this mean that the print was not really popular or got some bad reviews or something like that? So then they decided to change it? No, exactly the opposite. Because they were different, we know that they were popular. What? They were popular so they changed it? Exactly. They would never have changed it if the wood blocks never became dull. The reason the wood blocks are dull is because they made so many copies. The reason they made so many copies is because this print was so popular. Ha! So it's the really popular prints that made so many copies that the wood block got dull, and then they recreated and changed the prints. Exactly. Sometimes it might have even been the artist showing off, saying, I know this is popular, but I can make it even better. Part of the spirit of iki, or sophistication in the Edo period. Why don't we take a look at another example? This is a print of a place called Totsuka. Totsuka, a print also from the series 53 Stations of Tokaido by Utagawa Hiroshige. In the middle is a traveler who has just arrived at the rest station in Totsuka. These tags have names of the group tours who'll be stopping by the station. From this, we can observe that traveling was popular then as it is now. Here you can see the horse wearing straw sandals, just like the ones the people are wearing themselves. In Japan at the time, iron horseshoes weren't used. Spare horse straw sandals are even depicted. A testimony to how Hiroshige gives meticulous attention to details. There is also a kawadizu for this print. In the original print, the man is getting off a horse. Here he is mounting. It is said that perhaps the publisher changed it to a vigorous scene of getting on the horse to make the print even more popular. As a result, the 53 stations of Tokaido series became a bestseller, sparking a new ukiyo-e genre of landscape prints. So popular that the wood blocks got dull, so they re-carved them to make them a little bit different. I get it. Just like digital editing of the Edo period. <laughs> Exactly. But Jinbei-san, if they were making so many copies and selling so many copies that the wood blocks got dull and they had to recreate them, well, these artists must have gotten very, very rich. Well, actually, these prints were very inexpensive. So the artists didn't receive very much money at all. Mm. Just like Van Gogh and a lot of artists like him, many of these artists were poor all of their lives and only really, truly recognized for their greatness after they went to the next world. Oh, really? That's sad. Mm. Mm, Jinbei-san, I think that's a lot like you. I don't think you're recognized for your greatness either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should go to the next world yourself. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bobby. Your jokes are killing me. <laughs> Ferry boats of Rokugo operated at the time at Tama River, flowing the borders of today's Tokyo and Kanagawa. There's a monument to remember the ferry boats on the Rokugo Bridge. You can walk to the bridge from Kawasaki Station on the JR Tokaido Line. The rest station of Totsuka was located in today's Yokohama City. A 10-minute walk from Totsuka Station is the Yoshida Ohashi Bridge, said to be the stage of Hiroshige's print.